Last month, Pennsylvania State Senator John Eichelberger introduced a bill to amend the state constitution to ban same-sex marriage. Although Pennsylvania already has a statute banning same-sex marriage, Eichelberger believes a constitutional amendment could prevent this law from being overturned as unconstitutional. Around the same time, Senator Dalen Leach introduced a bill to legalize same-sex marriage. On Friday, Eichelberger and Leach went on WHYY's Radio Times show to debate whether same-sex marriage should be legal. Here are a few notable excerpts. How would he want to encourage stability in gay couples? Go ahead, John Eichelberg. I, I wouldn't. I mean, they, they can practice whatever sexual activity they'd like to practice, but that there's no reason to give them special consideration. We don't give them special consideration in Pennsylvania for any reason. Why in the world would we, we allow them to, to marry? But this isn't give- about a relationship. How would you encourage gay couples to be able to provide for their families? John Eichelberger, go ahead. Well, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> well, but, but what does that mean? What do you expect There's no them? reason to encourage that kind of behavior in, a, in, in Pennsylvania. Well, let me I mean, just... can survive. Uh, well, uh, that, that, that comes back, though, to the definition of family, and that's where we, we differ. I mean, you can, you can call it a family, and we can call all sorts of things families. I mean, we can say that a three-party marriage is a family, or uh, seven or eight people, or marrying younger and younger children these days, and doing all those... One, one second, but, but are you saying, Senator Eichelberger, that by their very nature, homosexual relationships are dysfunctional? Um, yes, I guess I would say that. I would say that. Well, uh, I, should they just be, should our, should our only policy towards those couples be a one of punishment to somehow prove to them that they've done something wrong, they're, or should we help them punished. live their we're, lives? We're allowing them to exist and, and do whatever every American can do. We're just not rewarding them with any special designation. It's not- You're allowing us to exist. Wow, that's so reassuring. Good to know we have your permission to exist, as if you have a choice in the matter. I have to wonder, does he know what it's like to be called dysfunctional for loving another person? To have your relationship compared to pedophilia and treated as a behavior that should not be encouraged? And after all that, to be told by a government official that they're allowing you to exist? As if the only thing your government will do for you is refrain from killing you? I don't think Mr. Eichelberger knows what that's like. If he did, maybe he wouldn't be so utterly devoid of the most basic human decency as to say that we are merely allowed to exist. Nobody is allowed to exist. We have a right to exist. And our existence is not subject to anyone's approval. And we're going to keep existing, regardless of what Mr. Eichelberger has to say about it. And we're not going to settle for simply being allowed to exist. Our equality will be recognized under the law, and marriage will no longer be a special designation exclusive to heterosexuals. And we're not going to put up with baseless comparisons from alarmist idiots like Mr. Eichelberger. A woman loves a man, and you say they deserve the special designation of marriage. But a man loves a man, and you say that's like pedophilia? Do you even think about this? Or is that just not an activity you like to practice? You are the last person to be calling anyone dysfunctional. We don't need to hear about what's dysfunctional from someone who hates love and loves hate. But at least you have the courtesy to allow us to exist. Thank you so much, Mr. Eichelberger, you pathetic, ignorant fascist.